Hello, I am V. Welcome to my channel, V Love and Crystals, where I post daily readings, deck reviews, live streams, and let's see, deck modifications, and collaborations with other tarot readers. So please subscribe. Don't forget to come back every single day. I post a new fun video. So everything Oracle and tarot related goes on this channel. So this is a deck review for the lovely Oracle of Visions by Ciro Marchetti. And this is not my first uh, deck review from this creator. He, I mean, not my first deck from this creator. Thank you, my father figure, for this beautiful, beautiful gift. I, I love when I can share what I'm passionate about and, and then you gift them to me. Thank you so much. I'm super spoiled and proud of it. So I love this work. And you found the Grand Lux Tarot. And then uh, we just kept looking and yeah, we, we keep finding more of his work. So I love this one. I have another one. It's a Kipper. The Kipper one from him. I'm going to do that very soon. So let's just get into this. So the box is just very, very sturdy. Very good quality box here. I will have the link to where you can find this. 52 cards. Uh, through lush Victorian carnival and theatrical images, the Oracle of Visions deck offers unique perspectives for intuitive and insightful readings. So, uh, okay, so what I like about this, first of all, I like that there are no words, just to be honest with you. I like that there are no words because I feel like I can put my own energy, my own brain, my own intuition, my own uh, energy here. Like, did I say that? Yeah. My own, I can just infuse me into this deck and kind of make it my own. And then the sides are white, so I will be edging this with black. So if you want to see my deck modifications, ch check out my playlist. It's growing. I have like maybe three videos in there already. Oh, it's just so stunning. I really do like this deck. So the book always, like, Ciro's books are always well thought out and organized in here. And we have all the information from soup to nuts about each of the cards what his interpretations were for each of the, the, the images. So I really do appreciate that. So, you know, if you ever need to look back or have so, you need something to read, you want to step inside of his brain and see why he, you know, thought of the certain words to go for each card. Like this, uh, let's see, this is number 38. So we have numbers up here, so, you know, easy to find. So 38 we have. I will do a reading after this, so please stick, stick around long enough to see what reading comes out. Inner peace, an instant in time. An instant in time. It strikes one, two, three, four, five, six. Enough, enough, dear watch. Thy pulse hath beat enough. Now sleep and rest. Would thou couldst make the time to do so too? I'll wind thee up no more. And then we have a little quote. It's by, and the quote was by Ben Johnson. So he found a quote, and then he has this little blurb here about the card. It says, we are lost in the moment, staring into a void, utterly engrossed and transfixed on some specific point or action in the distance. In this state, we are oblivious We are oblivious to time and reality. A young woman seated on a column, column's platform stares at a dragonfly settling on the lily, lilies below. Its movements become the focal point of her concentration, transforming her into a calming meditative, meditative state in which all other distractions are removed. In other words, slow the heck down, will ya? Will ya? Time is too precious to rush through it. Look, and then we have the baby right next to it talking about time, right? Don't rush, don't rush, don't rush. <laughs> we'll be having gray hairs and in a rocking chairs before we know it. So yeah, enjoy your life every, every moment that life brings us. So that's what I get from that, that, that card. So I'm gonna just go through these. I will say that, okay, so let me see if there's a spread in here. We talk about the, you know, why he thought about the, the you know, what, how he was inspired, what, how he got the, the concept, where the concept came from. Uh, we talk all about him too. We have, we have a foreword here. So the, the book is pretty cool. I like the book. I like, yeah, just having something fun to read. Acknowledgement, acknowledgements in the back. Um, so, and look, his approach here. It says, many people are surprised to learn that I am, in fact, not a tarot reader. The importance of that is subject to debate. Some may well argue that tarot should be understood and appreciated from the perspective of a reader to do justice to creative process. I have grown comfortable with my role as an outside observer of the process. So I like that. He's not even a tarot reader. And look, amazing. He has something going on, right? Intuitively. He's not giving himself enough credit. <laughs> Okay, so we talk about the book. Awesome. Okay, the, the the box just so sturdy and heart 
hard, um, what's it called? Um, yeah, sturdy, durable, and it feels really smooth here, like a nice, like silky paper. U.S. Games Systems. I love their their decks. They're very, very. Um, like the, the cards are very good quality. I have a few cards from this. I think I have the, the Field Guide to Dragons. Check out my deck reviews. I do a lot of deck reviews. I'm like approaching like almost 90 cards, I think, 90 decks. So these are not in order. I already used, um, wait, did I use these? No, I didn't use these yet, but I did shuffle and bond, but I bonded with these, so that's why they're not in order. These are beautiful. You can do so much with these. This screams vanity. This means to me either twin flame or sharing the same eye, seeing eye to eye on an issue, on a subject. Birth, regrowth. What does this mean for you? Some different little symbols here all the signs oh that's so cool look at his head so these are just so like so detailed you know you look at these you're like man so much thought and creativity and time went into this deck all of his decks really look at this one and we see this woman in we see this woman in one of the cards holding a note. Oh, look at this one. This is the second baby. Oh, so pretty. So we have one of the cards here on this book and then the other the other woman here on the on the cover oracle of visions this one is so gorgeous look at that one look at this one look oh look at that cat the black cat Oh, I like this one. Look at the rainbow and the stones here, the cherry blossoms. This one can be, you know, this can be like the naughty card. <laughs> or the dev card, you know, the, the bad energy card, or like addiction card, or yeah, stuff like that. This can be like the page of swords. This can be like the Eight of Swords. Look at that. 
oracle cards in the bottom or tarot cards it looks like his tarot cards tecito machete's tarot cards that's so cool look at that i love seeing oracle decks with oracle decks inside of the art pictures of the oracle or tarot so i'm going to tell you what the sizes are i'm going to compare the size with the tarot so you can see how big they are oh my gosh is this Okay, look at this one. This one's just so cool. Yin Yang, the jester. Jester, he has, it's like balancing elements here. This one, oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Evolution. Oh, look at this. Little Red Riding Hood. This did come out in a reading. What was it? A reading? Or I forget what, how, what, what I was doing with this. I think it was just... Oh yeah, I think I was just focusing or practicing doing messages on my own. You know, doing if, reading this for personal use. I didn't do this on camera yet. I haven't used this, this deck on camera yet. I was waiting to do a review. I bonded with them, and then I had something to say about them, but now I'm wait, I was waiting to do the review so I can write little messages, words. This one's so beautiful. Look at that one. She's in a glass ball, ball even though she's underwater. Oh, look at this. Two more. So how many cards again? We have... Fifty-two cards. Fifty-two cards in this deck. So we also look at that. We have... Working with card combinations. Oh, cool. Suggestion on how to work with them in combinations with other cards. Or, you know, in the, within this deck here. This is so cool. Yeah, I like when you add, you know, people add their own, like, either spreads or just how to use the cards. You know, for a little, little boost, you know. Creative boost. Creation boost. Inspirational boost. All right, so I'm going to share with you how big they are. In comparison, right? Compar comparing to the tarot, that's how big they are. So they are a little bit wider and longer. And the card stock, I mean, U.S. card game systems, they, they have beautiful, I mean, not beautiful, but like a sturdy, sturdy card stock here. Very sturdy. And it's, I don't know, I just, they're easy to shuffle. They're not as glossy. They have like a nice, it's not as smooth as the, the Rider weight, but I would say like a nice, good quality card, card stock. Yeah, a nice quality card stock. Smooth too, so all right. Look at the cover, the backing, and the Kipper has the same backing, but it's just like in gray and white. So he reused the same backing just for, um, just, you know, just smaller and like a like a sepia color for the kipper backing. All right, let's let's check this out. Let's see what do you need to hear. General reading. Thank you so much for being here. If you like deck reviews, I have many more to come. I probably have like thirty more reviews to um, upload or record or do. So yeah, come back for more. And let me know if you upload deck reviews on your playlist. I mean on your channel. What do you need to hear? Collective. What do you need to hear? They shuffle beautifully. All right, let's see. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and she's on the cover. And what's next? This. Okay, so I would say with this lady, what message can I go with this? I'm going to say she has, she, um, she's, she has options in front of her. She has, I think she's also hiding her identity. She has, some hidden secrets but she also has options in front of her options are being presented look she has a key to the lock she has a mirror she has the door opens here she has some books here so either options or she's just she has her hand in different baskets like she's doing a lot of things in her life you know she's either learning she's private either private person 
or a shy person, doesn't like to display her, her vanity for everyone to look at, just for her, for, for her, her only. She does look like, like looking into the mirror, but she doesn't want to share herself with everybody. Uh, I would say abundant too. The flowers, the honey coming to, to, to get some nectar from the flowers. I would say abundance, very private. Abundance, very private. Uh, and busy, busy bee, doing a lot in her life. And she's displaying it all out there for us to see. So you might, I don't know if you're a busy person, you have a lot of things that you're tackling uh, and you, you're, you're keeping it under wraps, so you maybe don't want to share it just yet. And then look, this is someone also with a mask on. That I would say this is a, wow, this is beauty, beauty right here. Beautiful soul. Beautiful soul, and I don't really I don't think you realize it with this mask here. Beautiful feminine, divine feminine. Oh man, this is so gorgeous. So beauty, beauty is in the behind the eye of the beholder, and beauty is in front of my eyes. I see beauty in you, appearance wise and spiritual wise. So you might have a nice uh, aura about you, an outer aura and an inner aura. Like inside of you, you're probably doing good things spiritually. And then with your body, you're like just appealing, like your face, the way you present yourself, your confidence, how you speak perhaps, probably. I just love this. And maybe you have a way with animals. Maybe you have a way with your words. Silver, I'm thinking a lot of thinking. I'm thinking like the sword suit. Wisdom, look at the, the hair, kind of reminds me of like George Washington era. So uh, I would say wisdom with this. Wisdom, mystery, intelligence, yeah, wisdom, and beauty, and privacy, because it looks like the moon's like right behind a cloud or something. That's what I have for you. Are you all those in one nutshell? Let me know. Take care. Thank you for watching. Check out my deck reviews. I do have Amazon affiliates if you're interested in purchasing this deck. I earn a small percentage for those who use my link, but... The purpose of this video is to share with you my love for art, decks, oracles, tarot, and all that good stuff. I do find things on Etsy too, and I do find things on makeplayingcards.com and all that stuff. It's not just Amazon. So, But if you do decide to use my link, thank you in advance. Thank you, my father figure, for this beautiful deck here. You know what I'm going to do with it, right? I'm going to make it my own.